Hi, this is Rob Manson from Teufel Burgers Life Safety Group. Today I'm here to go over rope inspection. Rope inspection is just as critical to your safety as clipping in is in the first place, but most people don't treat it that way or effectively know how to do it. So today I'm going to cover the basics on how to inspect your ropes. You should inspect your ropes before and after every single use. Before, for obvious reasons, because your life depends on that rope, and afterwards because you're familiar with what that rope just went through, what its experiences were, what hazards it faced, what chemicals it may have touched, what it came in, in contact with. All of that should be maintained in a rope log. Depending on what your industry is, what your requirements are, you may have different requirements for rope logs. I use an online app called Paper Trail. You can use whatever you want, whatever works best for you, but you should log all that stuff so that that history of that rope is always maintained, always known. If your rope sits in a rope cache or a rescue cache or on a truck, you should inspect that rope uh, at least twice a year. I try to do it before season and after season, whatever my busy season is. The reason you're doing that is because there's environmental factors that will come in contact with that rope, will impact that rope and its ability to perform, and may also uh, that rope may also come back to its end of life before you're expecting it. So it's better to look at those things rather than immediately when you need them and find out you have issues. Good rope inspection has four main points. First is to validate that the specs and the certifications for that rope match the hardware and the job you're about to use it for. Second is to inspect the general condition of the entire length of that rope and validate that it's in good shape. Third is to inspect any fabricated terminations. And fourth is to record the inspection and any findings in your rope log. 